Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Edukrimit and today's topic goes on the road not taken written by Robert Frost. Robert C. Frost, 1874 to 1963. Robert Frost was an American poet whose work was initially published in England before it was published in America. Known for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech, Frost frequently wrote about settings from rural life in New England in the early 20th century, using them to examine complex and social physical themes. Stanza 1. Two roads diverge in a inner wood, and sorry I could not travel, and be one traveled long as it and looked down one as far as I could, to where it went in the undergrowth. Here the poet was walking down the road when he found a diversion when two roads diverged in a different direction. Diverge means separated. The poet felt sorry that he could not travel on both roads, had to make one decision and choose a single path. At the junction, the poet stood for a long time and tried to look the roads as far as he could. He wanted to see the roads in full and wanted to know about both paths, but he could not see anything beyond the diversion as the roads were curved and covered with trees. In the stanza, the yellow wood refers to the forest with leaves, which were shared on the road and had turned yellow. This indicates that it was an autumn season. Through this stanza, the poet wants to convey that in everyone's life there comes a time when we have to make choices. We have alternatives, but we have to choose only one. At the time, we see the pros and cons of the situation and take time to decide which path to take. Similarly, the poet is also taking time before making any decision. Stanza 2 then took the other as just as far well, and having perhaps the better climb because it was grassy and watered beer. Two as far as the passing there had warned them really about the same. After pondering on it for a longer time, the point decided to take the other road. He felt that both roads were equally good. He started to walking on the road which has grass on it and felt that it was a better road for him. The grassy road means that the road was not used as the unwanted wear means that only few people have walked through it. After walking some distance on the road, the poet felt that both paths were almost him. There were hardly any difference between them. Through so in this poet conveys that in life, whatever decision we make or choices we make, each choice has some advantages and some disadvantages. Problems are everywhere, so we must be ready to face them. Stanza 3 And both that morning equally lay, in leaves had no step, had trodden black. Whole kept for the first for another day, ain't knowing how way leads on to way. I doubted if I should ever come back. The poet says that both parts seemed to be similar that morning. Leaves were shared on both the roads and they still green. It means that no one had walked on the road. He decided to take the path that day and other paths on another day. He knows that one day one way leads to another way. He could not go back and take the other path. Once he had to move ahead with one. Similarly in the life, when we make one decision, we can't go back. We have to move ahead with the same choice and face the consequences which come our way. Stanza for I shall be telling this with a sign. Summer ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. The poet says that in the future he will take a deep breath and say that once upon a time he reached a point in life where he had to make one choice. There were two options for him, and he had to take one option for one for him. At the time, he decided to take that road which have less traveled by people. It means that he took the decision which rare people take and that decision had changed his entire life. Through this poem, the poet sends a powerful message that people should decide wisely in their life because the decision they take will have an impact on the rest of their life. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.